Hello YouTubers, Goofy Zoe here with an app review called a uh, Screen Recorder by Iwo Bonas. Uh, sorry if I butchered that. The link will be down in the description. Now, yes, this you've probably seen tons of reviews on this app saying, oh well, guess what? You need root though. Well, I'm actually here to do a review on a special version that he made uh, that doesn't require root because uh, Android 5.0 dropped yesterday. It did come with a screen record uh, API. Uh, so you're able, so uh, developers like uh, Bana's is able to uh, make non-root screen recorders, and it really works well. I'm actually liking it. So here we go. We'll go, go right into the settings right here. Okay. So now when you press it, you'll notice this comes up. This is movable. See? You have record, settings, or exit. Also... You can um you can click up here to bring this back. Bring recording, and uh, when you're done recording, this will go away. So you have to press on this where it says uh, ready to get it back and uh, to start recording again. He didn't add any um hot action buttons or anything to start recording, which I kind of wish um he uh Bonus would do, but I kind of like you know it's it's new and everything, so I'm gonna give him time to see what he can do. So here we go. We're gonna go into settings. Alright, so here, you see you got your, um, your resolutions, your encoder. I have mine set to default, H246. For my resolution, I have 1280 by 720, which I don't think that's the size of my tablet, honestly, but it's what I have, uh, set. I get, for, uh, YouTube standards, at least, anyway. Uh, orientation, auto. So basically, uh, you can for keep the recording in landscape mode or in uh, portrait mode, which I like leaving it on auto just in case, you know, that accidental oops <laughs> of uh, fixing the rotate. Uh, Alright, now bitrate. I'm going to su suggest leaving this alone unless you're having some recording issues. Uh, otherwise, you might have some recording issues afterwards. Uh, source for audio. Microphone. So now you only got two, you got mute, and then you got microphone. Now in the root version, however, you're able to do internal memory. Uh, Bonans has actually said that um, this version does not support internal yet, but he hopes to get that soon. So um, here's hoping, you know. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Sampling rate, I just leave that on default. Face cam. Now this is a nifty little feature. Basically you're able to have... Use your front-facing camera on your device and um, record your face while you're actually doing recording your screen. So I think that's pretty uh, nifty, honestly. Okay. Hide notification icon. And what it's referring to is this. I personally wouldn't hide it. Because then you would actually have to go click on the app icon. So, you know, it's up to you guys. Show touches. Now, I love this setting. Basically, it's like that accessibility option. If I touch here, you're going to see it on the video. Uh, so that's basically all that means. So that's helpful for, like, if you're doing a how-to video, and you tell them, okay, press here, press here. Now, I've seen plenty of people do that. Like, oh, what am I pressing, dude? <laughs> you know? All right. Output directory. Now, the default storage is uh, emulated. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, what do you call it? I can't remember. I can't think of the stupid name for it. I'm sorry. It's just your basic directory that you have access to without root. Uh, but I changed it to the DCIM folder and name, put another folder or copy the, uh, the default folder that gets created, screen recorder, into that just so I can keep all my camera stuff together. I mean, it made no sense, but I don't know. Stop on screen off basically uh, is an option where if your device locks or goes to sleep, the screen, the uh, screen recorder stops uh, recording and saves the uh, video as is. Um, so I suggest if you're going to be having this on, like I have it, at least leave your uh, tablet um, timeout set for a minute or more. Because uh, I had it for, I think it was what, 15 seconds I had it set for and it kept going off. I'm like, no. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. I'm going to start recording. So as you can see, it's recording now, up here, it shows, 
uh, SR SCR screen recorder. Okay. Now, as you can see, uh, you see where my touches are. It it run it runs very nicely. I don't see any lag. Even when with the outputted videos, I do not see lag. So, and then just to stop it, either put your your uh, tablet to sleep or voila. Now, mind you, this is not supported on all devices, so you're going to have to check out the uh, thread in the XEA, uh, XEA Developers Forum. I'll have the link down in the description. I'll also have the link for the uh, app in the Play Store. This is strictly for, um, <coughs> excuse me, uh, Android 5.0 Lollipop. So, uh, this is uh, Skifazoa, and I'm out. Okay, guys, so this is how it actually looks when you're using the uh, face cam option. Especially just kind of like sitting on your couch using Kinect or PS camera. I don't know what it's called. I'm so sorry. Alright, I'm out.